In this video, we are going to see how to insert this card on our app. And I promise it's going to be very quick. But why do we need this card? Well, we don't need it. But once we have these controls inside our app, we can use this background that looks like a glass to use in other areas of our app and improve our design. So let's get started and see how we can insert that. Well, first thing, I'm going to go to an empty screen so we can start from scratch. And here's the empty screen. I will add a background image because once I insert the card, I want to see that glass effect. And if I have a screen that has just a white background, that won't work very well. So in the image properties, with the screen selected, we have the background image and I can select an image that I already have here. I can upload or I can go to stock images and just search an image that I want to add here in the background. I'm going to just close my eyes and pick one randomly. This one. Okay, looks good. Now I'm just going to select the image, image positions fill just to occupy the whole screen. And let's see how to insert the card. I've been talking about this website that's called Power Apps Tools. And in here we have several controls that we can just copy and paste with one click. Since it's leveraging the YAML language, that's the new way that Microsoft has put in preview. For example, we can go to any control in the screen, right click on it and copy. We have the copy code. Well, it's still in preview, it may change. But we can also paste code and it will reflect in a control that Power Apps understands and renders in the screen. Okay, so going back to Power Apps Tools, we have this tab called YAML Snippets and the card is here for you to copy just with one click. Let me search by glass and here it is, card with glass morphic backgrounds. We can click and see the image and we can click on copy YAML. Once you clicked here, you can go back to your app, right click on the screen and paste code. The card is here and it's already working and it is with this glass background effect. See, if I remove the background image and put none, it doesn't work very well. So better having something in the background to see it. Okay, let's go back to my image, right. Now, if you want just to use the card, the, just the HTML, because if we look at the tree view, we can see that this is a composition of several controls. For example, this card has an HTML, a text, an image, another image, and another text. So if we, if we want just that glass effect, we can select just the HTML, Ctrl C, and then for example, Ctrl V. And we have this to use anywhere in our app. For example, here I could already do a menu here with this glass background, just put something in front of it and it will start looking very nice. Okay, now let's look at some properties of it in case you want to customize. Let's, let's use this one in the cart. Okay, if I double click on it, I will go to the HTML control and in the HTML text, I have the formula that makes this happen. Basically, it's a CSS formula that will give this effect of glass. And it's in, especially in these parts where we have the back, backdrop filter and the WebKit backdrop filter. Depending on the browser, it will evaluate one of those. But what we need to change is this blur effect. If we want less blurry, we put a smaller number, for example, let's say two. Now it's less blurry. I also put in the one below it because it depends on the browser, so better to be prepared for both. If I want it very blurry, let's say 20 pixels, see it's very blurry. It depends on your preference. Okay, I'll keep it six for both of them. This card has, has also other properties. One that you may want to change, let's say, for example, for this one in the left, in case you don't want this border or this radius in the corners, you can click on it 
And then we have this border radius property. Let me just resize it first so we can see the borders here while we see the formula at the same time. So let's say I'm going to put zero. Now it doesn't have border radius anymore. And for the border, it's one pixel. We could increase, let's say, to five. Or we could remove and put zero. So now it doesn't have any border. And it's just a square that you can resize and use whenever you want. And then we have the other code here. This was just the way I found to apply the CSS in the HTML because it needs to be in line. If you don't know HTML, don't worry, just use it. But if you want to be able to change it and improve or do your own things, then you need to learn HTML and CSS. Let me know if that was useful. Give me suggestions in the comments, because if you don't do, I don't know what to show here and I will show things that maybe are not as interesting as you want. Now I'm going to leave a recommended video here in the end so you can also watch and learn more things about Power Apps. See you in there.